How does it mean when the rhythm is glad? What's up? I'm Longest Solo Ever. We're here on Longest Solo Ever 2, and today we're checking out Planet of the Bass by Kyle Gordon, aka DJ Crazy Times and Miss Biljana Electronica. But first, if you want more videos reacting to music, hit the subscribe button down below for more videos like this one posted every week. So this is a song I've seen posted around everywhere on Twitter. X. We're not calling it that, right? And I actually didn't realize who it was the first few times I saw it because he disappears so completely into this character of DJ Crazy Times. But I've been watching Kyle Gordon's videos forever on TikTok. He's absolutely hilarious. I made this alcohol in my bathtub. It might make me go blind, but it's also poison. <laughs> He's fantastic at taking these characters you've seen a million times in movies and TV shows and just sending them up in the best way possible. And here he's gone super deep and recreated an entire like Euro dance style and song from scratch. And it's just it's just gone absolutely enormous for him. I'm so happy for him. But I haven't actually heard the song yet. Like I've just scrolled past it a bunch of times before I realized who it was. So we're going to watch these in full for the first time for me and uh, see what we think. Fantastic already. So this is a big send up of Eurodance music, which is a type of dance music that originated in Europe. That much should be obvious. Uh, in the late 80s, probably the most popular song you're familiar with would be What is Love? Baby Don't Hurt Me, that song. You've got this strong four on the floor dance beat. You've got these, you know, cheesy early sampled synths like the Korg M1 or any of the Roland samplers. Uh, I'm actually running the M1 right now just for ultimate Eurodance vibes. And they're just nailing the sound here. Let's talk about the chord progression we're hearing first. It's a super simple chord progression, just three chords. We got C minor. We're in the key of C minor here. So this is our one chord. Then we go down to six. A flat up to B flat. This is seven. And then we just hang out there. Super simple, straightforward stuff. But what I really love about this is the way the melody interacts with that chord progression. We start on our one chord and there's no melody here. There's no melody until we hit our second chord. This is an A flat chord and we've got an A flat up top in the melody. How does it mean? And that A flat moves down to a non chord tone. This G builds tension down to another chord tone, E flat. So we're moving from chord tone, A flat to E flat. And chord tone just means it's a note that's in the chord we're currently playing. There's going to be no tension there. It's all nice and relaxed. Everything is lined up as it should be. How? But in between does this note builds tension because it's not in the chord then we resolve back into the chord it and we're good moving on to our next chord b flat mean we play an f that's in our chord so we've got how does it mean ba, ba, ba. stepping out of the chord and back in another chord tone we've got a g in a C minor chord. All we're doing is playing chord tones, stepping away from them, and then going back to them. And when you really break down most pop song melodies, that's what's going on here. You're building tension by moving away from chord tones, and then you're releasing it by moving back to the notes that are in each chord. Let's keep going, see what else we hear. The, the call-outs that Kyle's doing in the background are, are killing me. They're absolutely spot on for this style of music. Like, of course, the reason Eurodance is even like anything we're talking about right now, and you're seeing a mention of it right here, is Aqua. The Barbie movie just came out. Aqua had their huge hit Barbie Girl, which was an enormous Eurodance track. And this was such a common thing you'd hear in that song is like this beautiful, pristine female vocal up front, and then just some gruff voice dude in the background like, yeah! Super cool. Keep it up. It's just the funniest juxtaposition, and he's absolutely nailed it right here, along with the outfit. Like, that's just, that's spot on. It's perfect. I think the only thing he's missing is this guy's, like, insane head sideburn. <laughs> but that's a, that's a big commitment to make hair-wise, and I don't blame him for not doing it. Live in 
Oh no. Yeah, so he's <laughs> obviously poking fun at the, the broken English of the time. These European artists just kind of slamming together whatever cool sounding English words they could at the time. But I want to talk about the rhythms and the instrumentation we're hearing here, too, before we move on to the other TikToks. And we can hear him a little clearer in the rap section here, which he's got the voice down absolutely perfect. He sounds just like the guy from Aqua, just like every like Eurodance rapper in the 80s and 90s. It's great. Okay, so this, that's a great line. <laughs> this rhythm we're hearing here, this, uh, or, or whatever the chord progression is there. That is actually the exact rhythm from What Is Love. Uh, one, two, ba, ba, ba. That ba, ba, ba is a really, really important rhythm in so many genres of music. It's half of what's called the clave. This is a, a rhythm you've heard in a billion places. I guarantee it in every genre. It goes ba, 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 ba. And sometimes there'll be little variations in that second half, but it's this first half that shows up everywhere. Ba, ba, ba. And we're hearing it here in this bass line. One, two, ba, ba, ba right there and that is that what is love chord progression that one two ba, 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 ba. it's that little bit of syncopation in the second measure that sets it apart from the kick drum which is playing one two three four a nice strong four on the floor beat let's hear what that interplay sounds like i'm going to play kick drums rhythm in my left hand and the the clave rhythm in my right hand check it out You can hear how that, that little bit of syncopation it just interplays in the coolest way. Favorite guy, sex. I'm wanting more. Tell the world. We've also got this really, really effective hi-hat loop going on in there. Like, the drum beat's super simple. We've got a four on the floor beat, which is just kick on all four beats. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And then snare on two and four. One, two, three, four right? Nothing interesting going on there, just a really rock-solid driving beat. But the hi-hat in the background, take a listen, it sounds like this. It's playing one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. It opens up if you've ever seen a hi-hat cymbal. It's this crazy looking part of a drum set where if you hold it down, it plays this, this tight, closed sound. But when you let go, the two cymbals can freely kind of bash against each other and you get this open sound so you'll play and that's going on in the background one e and two e and three e and four e and i don't think i could do both of those at once there it is so that's the drum beat in the background i need to be more confident in myself i could do that no problem Stop the war. Boom, hear the bass go zoom. Have a body, feel the groove. it's great i love that beat <laughs> I love that we're getting tiny little glimpses of a song that theoretically has like more to it, but does not actually exist as far as I know. <laughs> Let's check out the next entry in this series. Oh, full song, August 15th. Cool. We'll do another video then. But this is one that I think is hilarious. I did see talk about this, that he replaced the female vocalist in this video. But it's the same vocals. It's the same audio. So this is yet another like Eurodance trope, like another hugely famous Eurodance band, Captain Jack, which if you've ever played DDR, you know very well, but they have gone through so many lineups, just replacing the singer every single time. You can see how many singers they went through here. And so just replacing the woman who played the vocalist in the video without any word of it is the funniest thing he could do to, to really accurately nail the Eurodance thing. Live, it never dies. I like that it's just exactly the same music. It's great. There doesn't need to be any more of the song right now. I, lo I love the like vague attempt to hit a pitch on movement. What, what happens in the newest video? 
We have yet another vocalist. <laughs> he's, he's going absolutely crazy in the background, and I love it. Yeah, I love a good genre pastiche, and Kyle Gordon absolutely nailed this. He knocked it out of the park. Go subscribe to Kyle at Kyle Gordon is great on TikTok and look out for the full release of that song on August 15th. We'll probably do a reaction here too. If you want more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see me react to next. And as always, if you like hearing me talk about music, check out quickstartmusic.com. Quickstart Music is my collection of online music courses designed to teach you everything you need to know to make the music you want to make. Use the code LSE at checkout for 50% off your first month of courses. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.